Share it if you want to share it. If you don't, don't worry about it. But nothing is off limits. Let's go. So, I'm from Dallas. I'm from Dallas. First of all, I want to give a big shout out to Big X the Plug, who I feel like is the really the next one. He's a below out of Dallas. He making a lot of headways, and uh, I salute him. Big X the Plug. Ed, the whole city need to get behind him, because um, that's that's all it takes. Uh, see, they didn't. They they don't go through what we went through back in the day. You know, we had Skip Cheatham as the uh, program director at K one hundred four, and Skip Cheatham, he single handedly destroyed Dallas hip hop. That's number one. Uh, he wanted to get paid. They should have arrested him for payola. For payola. You know, he took money from Red Rum and didn't play the records. Uh, I actually seen with my own eyes Master P come in there with a, a briefcase full of money and paid him. Uh, there were rumors that Skip Cheatham was gay at once upon a time. Have you heard any, anything like that? Uh, there was a there was a, a magazine out once called Texas Models Magazine. It was an article about that, and that that was the first time I heard of. Yeah, it. I know the uh, the owner of that magazine was Cowboy, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. So here's the deal. <coughs> Last night, Dallas had the biggest upset in the world. Uh, Earl Spence lost to Terrence Crawford, which I hate. I felt so bad for Earl Smith. I mean, Earl Spence. I mean, I, I literally shed tears, man. You know, he tore him off the bone. But I'm going to say this. Earl Spence have done more for Dallas than – any hip hop artist has ever done for Dallas. I'm talking about Earl, what Earl Smith did for Dallas is what the rapper DOC should have did for Dallas when he went to California and signed a ruthless record with NWA and Dr. Dre. Right. On. So what what Earl Smith do? Well, first of all, Earl Smith Earl Smith always represent Dallas. That's number one. Right on. You never heard DOC when he was in that life with. Dr. Dre mm -hmm. and Easy E ever screened Dallas. Yeah. Yeah, everybody thought he was from the West Coast and he was right here from West Dallas. Right. Right Earl Spence make it known. And when he over the fights, the fight going to be here at Jerry Jones Stadium. Yeah. Earl Spence was able to, and then every time he come out, he going to have a Dallas artist bring him out. Last night he had Big Ass The Plug bring him out. Yeah. He didn't have Trap Boy Freddy bring him out. He didn't have Yellow Beezy bring him out. He didn't have Big Tuck bring him out. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So he's spreading, he's spreading the love. Yeah, so he's why you say he skipped Cheatham and ruined <laughs> Dallas hip hop? He wasn't really skipped Cheatham. Put it like this. Everything that Bay Bay is doing, the, the DJ Bay Bay, yeah. everything that Bay Bay is doing for the city, Skip Cheatham should have done for the city. Because people looked up to Skip Cheatham, they, and he didn't give Dallas music a chance. He didn't get Dallas so music you think that's what ruined it, though? Uh, I like think, I don't think, I, well, I'm going to say this. I don't think that's what ruined it. I think that's what put a block on it from, from elevating at the time. Yeah. Because back then, you didn't have internet wasn't as popular as it is now. You right. had to get played on the radio to be popular. Yeah. Now you can get popular off of YouTube. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, I just always felt Skip Cheatham was a bad man, but I could be wrong. No, I agree. I think he was a, a asshole, man. But I just I don't know if he single handedly ruined it because even though he was taking payola and all that shit, he he, he broke a lot of people's shit. Who? Uh, he spent a lot of Dallas artists. Who? On, uh, I can't call their names. You know uh, it's, it's, that's my point. Yeah, I can't call their names, but I remember it like he 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 started that uh. If he did, he got paid for it. Yeah, he got paid. I ain't saying that. That's the fucked up part. He got paid, but he still allowed it to happen. Yeah, I you just... You know, so that's a double-edged sword. He could have did more. That's a double-edged sword. Now, uh, trust me, I ain't taking up for the dude. I just want to know how he ruined it. I, I'm, I know he I, did a lot that, of shit, but that, how did he That was a misquote. It? He didn't ruin it, but he blocked it. Okay, I can roll with that. Uh, I, I thought it was crazy at that time to even have an out-of-town programmer. To somebody in the city that, that knows the music. Yeah. You feel me? I think See, that came up before, too, within the radio station, if I ain't mistaken. Then they had a, a conversation about that, 
and he said something about because he was the best. I, I don't know, but yeah, it was some shit like that. I've done several episodes on Lights, Camera, Action, but I've never covered Dallas music, so that's why I'm taking this time to do one about the Triple D because <laughs> right. I am a Triple D representative. Absolutely. Uh, so who, what, what Dallas artists you like? Right now. Uh, 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 it don't have to be right now, just period. Oh, Mo3, Mo3. I like Trap Boy. You know, I'm mutual with all that, you know. Back in the day, it was Big Tuck, though. Oh, Big Tuck, for sure. Big yeah. Tuck, for sure. You can still say Big Tuck, for sure. Big Tuck, for sure. Oh, right. Tuck for sure. Look at not a stain on not me. Not a stain on yeah. me, man. That's my <laughs> partner. Know, you know, that's my train, that's my boy. Uh, yeah. Did you you remember Cottonmouth? Yeah. Yeah. Blowing smoke out the back <laughs> But that's y'all era. You know, that's y'all era. You older than me. No. That's you my, and my sister's let, era. Let say, I didn't really listen to Cottonmouth. I knew him, though. Let me say this. My era... <laughs> is everything that's going on right now okay. and then. Okay, well then. I don't uh, have a Pacific era. Then. Because I'm a hip-hop baby, and hip-hop didn't stop. It's still growing. I knew of, like, Cotton Map, I used to hear, like, my sister's name. Blowing smoke out the back <laughs> window. Cotton <laughs> <laughs> uh, was a cold force for us. Right. Uh, I just used to hear them listening to him. And he used to be around us. Like, he used to be in our neighborhood, so. Right. He just saw me running around as a little girl. You see him at the boat all the time. Yeah, I see him at the casino all the Y'all time. Y'all kind of smoke a little weed together oh, sometimes. Oh, shit, baby. That boy, that's crazy. <laughs> he can smoke. He can smoke, boy. All he talk about is blowing smoke out me? the back window. <laughs> that's my boy. Uh, What about Big Chief? Y'all ever listen to Big Chief? Oh, I'm listening to him right now. Blowing I can play. Guess what I'm listening to? You want to hear it? No, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I know I was, all his music. I was li- <laughs> like, I love Big Chief. Shout out to what that boy, Big Chief. Saying? Right now, I was listening to Cushion the Bowl. I liked it there, but you my know. favorite song by Big Chief was I Think They Like My Swag. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, and I'm going to tell you, uh, to me, I'm going to tell you what stopped Big Chief from actually caterpillaring to be uh, a mega force. Because Big Chief, to me, back then, he could have been Young Jeezy. He could have been Rick Ross. Because he was on that style when they was when they were still trying to pop. To me, Big Chief could have been the biggest thing out of Dallas. The problem with Big Chief, see, he had that movement, that movement, eat greedy. Mm-hmm. The problem that Big Chief is, first of all, he had one feet in the street and he had one foot in the studio, so he didn't really network with the artists. You know, he was kind of standoffish, right. and that's the reason why a lot of artists are standoffish toward him now because he was he was standoffish. He he had the the well, street. Well, maybe he saw something that we didn't see. Well, he 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 had the. He had the street personality. He a Virgo for one. That's like we. I'm a Virgo. He a Virgo. So I could just imagine, like how he viewing things, because you can view things from all angles and see things that other people don't see. He probably just well, you well, know, had his own way of doing. Well, you got to understand this. When when you got one street, one feet in the street, and one in the studio, one is going to outdo the other one. Right. So if the streets was more important than that persona and that attitude and that personality that he have as a as a hustler, mm-hmm. he gonna have that now over here in the studio. Right. See, I do this so I don't talk to a lot of people. But I do this when I should talk to people, but I don't. You know, he he had a whole movement that could have really, really been something. Can still be, because you know well, I, 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 right now, I think he can make it as a CEO, but mm-hmm. his time in front of the mic, right. it, it's gone. But I listened to every Big Chief album that, that he ever made. Uh, I was a big supporter of Big Chief, mm-hmm. and I just don't think he had the right education. He even had a situation with with uh, cash money that didn't manifest because he had money, so he was – into his movement, this is how I want it done. So do you think Baby is, can you say like, I ain't going to say a bully, but like he be just trying to tell people what they going to do. No, I'm going to tell you something. First of all, <clears throat> I love Baby. Right. I love Baby too, <clears throat> but I'm just saying, do you think that? Because I, I don't think that. Because, see, I had some affiliation with Baby mm-hmm. when we were still in the streets. Okay. With Red Rum Records. Right. We was affiliated with Baby Nam, and we did some street things mm-hmm. with Baby Nam. Right. Uh, 
I don't feel like that. I just feel like really with Big Chief, I don't think that he had the right people around him. And what I mean by that, even if you're not going to sign with another movement, Mm -hmm. you had the bread. All you had to do is go pay for your own distribution. Right. Pay for your distribution. Stop looking for a record deal. Tell tell the go to the record company. I want a 50-50 venture. I pay for the advertisement. You pay for the press and shipping. You know what I'm saying? Hire him the right lawyers. Buy his record deal. He didn't have to go. See, we was too busy trying to uh, get a record deal when he had the money to buy the record deal. Master P, he bought the record deal. But like you say, everybody don't have that knowledge. He didn't have the right education behind him. He didn't have the right knowledge. He probably went about it the way he thought he should go about it. So, so let me ask y'all a question. What do y'all think? I don't know a lot about him. All I know is I like his music. He made good music. Right. I ain't got no history. I with think him. I just like looking from from a different perspective. You know, as a I'm gonna say as a man, because sometimes as a man you don't want to feel like you under nobody. You know what I'm saying? When you already got your own things going but, on. So if somebody come at you who got more than you. Cause that's what it really be all about. It's an ego. A, a person, somebody who come with you, got more millions and got more money than you, trying to get you on a record label, you know. And he was like, "I'm already cash money, right?" Right. So he felt like the money status shouldn't matter. Right. It's about talent. You know what I'm saying? So I don't care if you got more money than me. Basically, to me, is what I feel like he was saying. I don't care if you got more money than me. I'm already cash money, nigga. I'm doing my way. You know what I'm saying? I got my shit going over here, and I'm going to keep it like that. Which, you can't do nothing but respect it, though. Because at the end of the day, that's that man. That man ain't begging nobody. But That's just it. Uh, but see, I, 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 He's still going to eat. But I think egos get in the way with men because here's the deal. And that can be true. If I know a whole lot, if I know a whole lot, the minute somebody walk in the door and know more than me, I automatically become a student. Right, but you know everybody don't have that type of mentality either. I'm a teacher until you, you know more than me, I become but a student. Like your mentality is different from that man. He ego play a big part in men too. You know what I'm saying when it come to collaborating, doing business, because you feel like that person got more or that person feel like you got less. It's gonna clash. What y'all feel about Yellow Beezy? I like it. That's 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 uh. Again, well, I like Yellow Beezy. I like his music. Let me I seen like him that. come up because he used, you know, I worked at V Live. Mm-hmm. So I was a door girl up there. So I seen all the rappers. That's the strip club. Yeah, V Live, the strip club, you know, used to be on 35. Mm-hmm. I seen all the rappers. This is not daily, weekly. I'm seeing them. And they was so tr- like, up like, and yeah, coming yeah. rappers at that time. They right. wasn't, you know, they was up and coming rappers at this time. Mm. Like, see them at the mall. I'll be like, what you doing, boy? You know, they like my sons. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. So. Like, they done made it is how I look at it. Mm-hmm. When I, you get, like, he got L.A. Reid, mm-hmm. period. He got L.A. Reid. L.A. Reid got Janet Jackson and a lot of more successful artists. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> he got under the right person. That's how I feel. That man teaching him. Don't be doing all that. I, you know I, what I'm saying? Soak it up. Just I, like it. I like Yellow Beezy. I, I like Yellow Beezy. He I got think, good music. I think he did more for the city. Then DOC did for the city. Man, yeah. listen, I grew up with DOC. Check this out. When we when we grew up, DOC sister stayed in our apartments. We met Dr. Dre. They came to our apartments. Right. So he did that, but he you right. He was gone. Yeah. He didn't fuck with Dallas but see, like that. You gotta that. understand when I was a little kid, I used to look up to DOC. He was he was grown, mm-hmm. but they he was in a a, a a dancing group called the Rockets. Uh-huh. The Rockets. <laughs> yeah, so, Fresh crew. yeah, it was before <laughs> Feel the Fresh Crew. Yeah, he was with the Rockets, Disco right. Joe and them. Yeah, so I, I always looked up to him, and I, I'm not saying that DOC was supposed to make sure that everybody had a record deal out of Dallas. I'm saying all he had to say one time when he interviewed is go to Dallas, all the talent is there. Yeah, and this is what it would have been coming looking for another DOC. Right on. Yellow Beezy, he pulled Trap Boy in. Mm-hmm. He didn't have to. And he represent Dallas. He always screaming, Oak Cliff America. Oh, yeah. And where is Oak Cliff? It's in Dallas. But I'm kind of biased with Yellow Beezy because me and his dad was real cool. So when I look at him, I see his dad, R.I.P. to Tony Conway. Uh, so I got to kind of soft heart for Yellow Beezy based off of that. But I like his music too, though. Yeah, I like his music. And I heard some of the shit he did. Uh, uh, he gave a bunch of money to uh, uh, 
uh, I think a, a recreation center. I, I, I'm not sure. Like that. Yeah, See, and that's good. Like that, you know, that kind of shit. So, but I like his music. Like I said, I don't know much about him. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know much about him, but I like his music. And you know what? Like, like you said, everything doesn't have to be for the public. You right, know, when you're right. helping. Yeah. So that's good that he helps the community because you don't have to brag and boast about doing that because to me that's not genuine yeah, you know and when you, you do look, things you behind us if you're looking for a clout because there's a lot of clout chasing shit going on right now with these <laughs> right. dallas rappers man you know man, i don't man. even want to get on that i don't know how i feel about <laughs> i'm gonna say this i don't know how i feel about it. i do know how i feel about it but i think i might have a little problem with uh what's the dude named bobby billions what he call himself who was on that song with mo3 outside yeah yeah. OG Bobby Billions, that's what he called himself. Right. And then he got on a song with Trap Boy. He got on, see, I like Trap Boy and I like Yellow Beezy, but I, I just feel a certain type of way about Bobby Billions. I, first of all, I don't I don't like him as a rapper. I salute him. He was able to get some money out of the music. But I don't listen to his music. And the only reason I listen to Outside is because Mo3 made that a Mo3 song. You know what I'm saying? Right but it did make me feel a certain type of way when he went and did music with Yella and Trap, knowing the history behind them and Mo3. Because right it was I'm like, not saying you, know, you got to choose a died. side, but I just think he did it too quick and he cut his bread off by doing it. Yeah. So. Well, he was probably cloud chasing, like the young lady said, cloud chasing and going trying to go to where he thought some more bread, you know. The old saying, you can fuck up your show trying to get some more. Right. And that's probably what he what, did. What, what, other than Big X the Plug, y'all go by Big go support Big X the Plug. He the next to blow. Other than him, who else got motion here right now? I'm not really into uh, I, I haven't really. I don't really like right now. At this oh, moment. I like Asian Doll. I like Asian Doll. Did you know her? You know, I she do from know, Dallas. I know her. I've been to her house. What kind of interaction her you have had with Asian uh, Doll? Her, me and her mother are good friends. Okay. Yeah, ever since she was a little girl, you know. I like Asian Doll. I like Asian Doll because she, to me. To me, she fearless. She got integrity, man. Y'all don't know that girl, man. That girl got a head on her shoulders. Like, she, she has a me. head on her shoulders. She she know. And, and in this game, it's all about longevity. Oh, have y'all heard of this girl named uh, Loretta Fox? Mm-mm. She can rap. She she had a little situation like a management deal with with Lil Boosie at, at some point. She lived in Fort Worth. She from Louisiana. I've never heard about her. She can rap. Mm-hmm. Oh, she cold. And then there's another one named uh, what's her name? Ellen. Ma- I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's another girl out of Dallas. Just I think the females out of Dallas are making more attraction, like Erica Banks. See, I like sexy red. See, I like she ain't she, from Dallas. Now she ain't from Dallas, but I like she the female that's coming out. You like now, Erica Banks? She all right. I, she Erica Banks is okay with her lyrics. I like her because she's from Dallas. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I to just her. like her because she got some good lyrics. I don't like her personality though. Why? Because she could be like a bully herself when it comes to women. Could she bully you? Hell no. You know she can't bully OG. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, no. So you I don't like, like her personality though. So you like Sexy Red? I like Sexy Red, though. She's straight ratchet. I like Sexy Red because I like Sexy Red. I like, I like Sexy Red. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because it's like this. She's not letting, she's not being scared. What, what's she the song she's saying? Pound Town. Just left Pound Town. I can hear you say what? My coochie pink, my booty hole brown. <laughs> <laughs> Pound Town. But yeah, I like her, though. I like her. Because she keeping it real right Who's now. Who's your favorite female artist? Right now, well, I like Megan Thee Stallion though from New Houston, Texas. I love Texas. Megan Thee Stallion. I love Megan Thee Stallion because she be say they can't fuck with Megan no, lyrics. They, yeah, so, I, I love Megan. Say man, they can't fuck with Megan lyrics. I like Megan. I like Megan, Asian Dog. I, know, like, I do like those two. I, I'm 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 Megan, uh, Glorilla. I, I was just at the concert last night with Glorilla. Uh, Glorilla, uh, little baby Glorilla did her thing last night. And Asian Dog and that, that chick out of Dallas named Ella May or some whatever her name is. is. She jamming. Okay. Her and that girl, Loretta Fox. But, uh, so you would know more about music. I, and I love music. You know, I'm I, a hip-hop connoisseur. See, because I, I do my own music. So 
I be into my own let's, shit. Let's hear a little what kind of music you do? Okay, come on, we we listen. Go Take ahead. Take the all out of free if you wanna fuck with me. It's a goddamn fee. So come on, man. To come get on, with man. R E double D. So are you a hey, madam? About the money. <laughs> and so, ain't a damn thing funny. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> let me ask you a question. When was the first time that you broke on a woman? 2012. So how many women have you had in your stable at one time? Three. Three? Yeah. Already. I, I call it a, 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 a business partnership. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I call it a business partnership. What type of music would y'all listen to? Man, we straight listen to Rallo the Pimp, man. We listen to Rallo. <laughs> we listen who to Rallo. Rallo the man, y'all don't know who Rallo is? You know who Rallo the Pimp is? That's not as a, I ain't never heard of him. Oh, artist. man, come I, on I know now. A real pimp named Rallo. Yeah, Rallo. That's who I'm talking about. He, he, rap, he rapping now? Oh, well, that might not be Rallo. Might not be Rallo. Rallo the Pimp. One I know don't rap. Oh, okay, Rallo the Pimp. So, uh, there's a rumor. Mm -hmm. I want you to clarify. Okay. I know it ain't true, but I got to I got to ask you. Mm -hmm. But I heard that at one point you used to be uh, a bottom for Bishop Don Juan. Not true. That's not true? Not true. So what was your interaction I never with, met him. with the bishop? I never met Bishop. Pimp C would have killed you. <laughs> <laughs> I never met Bishop. Pimp C would have been like, <laughs> tapping out. <laughs> 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 now nah, he wouldn't have been, though. Pimp C was cool, though, y'all. He wasn't like that. Did you know his uh, artist, uh, 16? No. No, I just know he's a Leo. Yeah, he's a Leo. Uh, Corey Moe. You know, them two yeah. I knew personally. What about 3-2? And I know him. Yeah, 3-2 Because we killed. all grew up. He got killed years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, you, do y'all know any other Dallas artists that we need to get behind? No. I don't see. Ray Gunner. What's his name? Ray Gunner from East Dallas. His name Ray Gunner? Ray Gunner. Shout out to Ray Gunner. Shout out to Ray Gunner. He's a young, up-and-coming, young king. Oh, you know, because that's what we're going to represent. We really need to stop saying niggas and bitches. I use the word ninja now. You know, too. I, we say that on Facebook, but just like the up and We need more encouragement to the, to the youth and the up-and-coming Dallas, Texas, young artists, men and women. We need to encourage them. You Did know? you meet Lil Baby last night? No, I ain't meet Lil Baby. I was up in the suites last night. I didn't so, meet Lil Baby. Let me ask though. you a question. If Lil Baby would have came to you last night? Uh Jada Waiter. <laughs> Jada Waiter. <laughs> you. Would you would you if Lil Baby came to you and said, What you know, what what's what what's the ticket? You going back to the hotel? I'm gone, baby. How much? Man, first let's let's, you know, talk about that, you know. <laughs> let's talk about that what you want. Everything. Shit, man. Give me 20. Oh, my God. They giving it to him. They giving it to him. <laughs> hey. Give me 20. Because you, you got it. You heard old boy say they tricking if you got it. Hey, because you got it. Give it to yeah, me, that's baby. That's what they believe. I'm going to give you a time of your life. You ain't going to never forgive me. See. <laughs> hey, that's what hey. they believe. <laughs> Look here, man. The truth. <laughs> hey, man. The proper truth. Y'all stand hey, up. Yeah. Y'all yeah, yeah. detail stand up. Y'all, I represent my city, man. We, we, we heard we been here. Like you said, we've been all over, but we love Dallas. You know, we might not get all the love, but as long as we have a few here and there, we'll do good. We'll do good. Love always hates. Love always hates. Till next always. time. Always. Till next time. Yes, sir.